Hi, welcome to the Golf Psychology Podcast. I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn with Peak Performance Sports at peaksports.com. I'm a mental performance coach, and we help golfers improve their mindset so they can perform better on the golf course and have more fun. In this video, I'm going to continue my deep dive on pre-shot routines. And specifically, we're going to talk about what is the makeup of a good putting routine. You're watching the Golf Psychology Podcast. Hey, before I get started, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell to be notified when we have new videos. So having a good putting routine is extremely important. And a lot of the mental skills that I've discussed in previous videos in this series certainly apply. And that means you're planning and reading the putt, visualizing, having some type of image, either a visual or a feel, oriented image, self-talk for confidence, trust over the ball, having a good setup routine as well. So let's go through some of the steps of a good putting routine. Now it starts with reading the green and there's different philosophies about reading the green. I do like you to go to the ball side and also the cup side at least. And then the third side would be from the side and that would be your speed look. In addition, I also recommend you go to the low side of the green, meaning you're kind of looking up at your putt. If the ball is above the hole, then you're going to obviously start geographically from the cup side. And I want you to place more emphasis on that particular side than above the hole. I've only had one golfer over many, many years that could read the putt better from the top, meaning above the hole. Most golfers are going to be able to read it better from the low side of the green. So that's where you start. Whether you go to both sides is up to you. If you're the type of golfer that will read it from the low side and then go to the top and see something totally different and get confused, then maybe you shouldn't, for example. When you go to the other side of the green, you essentially want to see the same thing as you're seeing on the low side. That's why you go to the other side to get more information, more confirmation that you can have a good read. After you get the read, then you have that programming part. The programming part is kind of visualizing the ball or feeling the ball rolling along your line. Now, visual putters will see things like lines and they might even see the ball rolling along their line or the last two feet of the ball rolling in the hole. That's a good image, by the way. Field putters, now I'm talking exclusively field putters, don't have that ability. And they prefer to focus more on pace. They focus on two different things. One is, oh, I'm feeling a little bit right to left here. They're not really specific with their visuals. They just think, and I know it's kind of foreign, right? Because I'm more of a visual putter. They just, oh, this is going to turn a little bit, or this is going to turn a lot, and they feel that. But what I find is feel-oriented putters will tend to read the putt, but in a much different way. They'll just think, I'm going to set up somewhere out there, but then I'm going to feel it in the hole. And their feel is more pace-based, speed-based. That's what they're feeling. It's those golfers that are exclusively feel and really don't see images. Now, with that said, most of us are a combination of both feel and visual. So when I read a putt, I try to see a curvilinear. In other words, I, I try to see it where it might start and then finish into the hole. But in addition, I'm feeling the pace at the same time of that ball and where it's rolling at the hole how fast it's rolling at the hole. Those are some good images that you can use within your pre-shot routine. Now, once you've read the putt, you've visualized or felt it, felt the pace in some way or both, then you're in a position now to approach the putt. However, make sure you get committed from behind. That's the million dollar look. Get committed from behind on what you're gonna do. Why? Because over the ball, it will look a little bit different to you because your eyes are in a different position and now you're up over the ball and totally different look. 
for most golfers. Don't use that cheap look. Stick with your look from the low side, low to the line, on your line, whether it's the ball side or whether it's the hole side. That's the look you want to stick with. Now, as you set up, the same principles apply that I talked about in previous videos, and that is don't be super anal or don't be super perfectionist about having perfect lines and angles, right? Step in there. Bob Murphy once told me, you know, I just step in there and I wiggle around a little bit. He said, if I can get most tour players to do this, they would putt way better. Don't try to create super lines and angles for yourself and get caught and trapped in that. Once you're set up and you go through your setup routine, I've talked about that in a previous video too, you have your specific setup routine. Maybe you aim the putter and then you set your feet in a little bit parallel left. Whatever you like to do, I'm not here to tell you what's right. But at that point, you got to feel comfortable and you got to move on to your image. That image may simply be your pace or that image may be starting the ball on your line, what we call launch point, like I do, maybe right edge, or that image might be seeing the line all together and launching your ball down your line. Once again, different strokes for different folks, you have to figure out what works the best for you. And it may be a combination of those things. Lastly, the most important thing is don't watch the putter head. So many golfers that come to work with me they just watch the putter head and they think about the length, they think about whether it's open or closed, and then they're trying to manipulate the putter mid-stroke. No, you have to trust that that putter is gonna square itself. That's what trust is. My putter, if I make a good stroke, if I make a free stroke, it's gonna square itself and launch this ball online. Those are some of my best tips about having a good putting routine. If you have any questions, jump over to peaksports.com and shoot me a question there under Contact Us. We also have resources for golfers as well. We have the Golfers Mental Edge 2.0 audio and workbook program. In addition, we do coaching with golfers all over the world. I myself today only work with professional golfers, but I have some very competent mental coaches here that work with our juniors and amateurs and some collegiate golfers as well. All right, hope that was helpful. Hope you enjoyed the series. Please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.